Hello, little adventurer. Welcome to Mini Kids. Let's continue alphabet M to Z. Let's start from M. M is for meerkat. These social creatures live in tight-knit families called mobs. Always on the lookout, meerkats work together to stay safe. Look! Next to the meerkat there is a bird. Do you know what kind it is? N is for nightingale. Nightingales are small birds known for their beautiful and melodious songs. They are native to Europe, Asia, and Africa. Male nightingales sing mainly at night to attract mates and establish territory. Their song is considered one of the most beautiful and complex in the bird kingdom. Look! There is sitting on a rock. Please be careful, there is a river. Their safety number one. Oh, is for orang mutant. Orangutan is a species of great apes native to the rainforests of Indonesia. Efforts are being made to protect and conserve orangutans and their natural habitat to ensure their survival in the wild. The next word is P. Can you follow me? P is for penguin. P is for penguin. Penguins are a type of flightless bird that live mainly in the southern hemisphere. They are known for their unique black and white coloration and their ability to swim and dive in the ocean. The next word is Q. Can you follow me? Q is for quokka. Q is for quokka. A quokka is a small marsupial found in Western Australia. It is known for its cute and friendly appearance, often described as the world's happiest animal. Look! Near the penguin there is a rabbit. Do you know what animal it is? Yes, that's right! R is for rabbit. A rabbit is a small mammal with long ears and a fluffy tail. They are known for their hopping behavior and are often kept as pets. The next word is S. Can you follow me? S is for swan. S is for swan. The swan is a graceful bird known for its elegance and beauty. It is often associated with grace, love, and fidelity. The next word is T. Can you follow me? T is for turtle. T is for turtle. A turtle is a reptile with a hard shell that protects its body. It is often found in water bodies, such as ponds, lakes, and oceans. Our adventure doesn't end here. The next letter is in U. For Wakari. U is for Wakari. Wakari is a type of monkey that is native to the Amazon rainforest. These monkeys are known for their distinct red faces, which make them easily recognizable. The next letter is V. Is for vultures. V. Is for vulture. A vulture is a large bird of prey that is often associated with scavenging. They have a bald head and a sharp beak which helps them in tearing the flesh of dead animals. Now the letter W. Little adventurers definitely know what kind of animal this is. W is for wolf. A wolf is a carnivorous mammal that belongs to the Kennedy family. It is known for its wild and predatory nature, usually hunting in packs. The next letter is X. Can you follow me? X is for Xenops. X is for Xenops. Xenops is a genus of small passerine birds found in Central and South America. The next letter is Y. Y is for Yak. 
Why is for yak? Yaks are large, shaggy-haired mammals that are native to the Himalayan region of Asia. They are primarily found in countries like Nepal, Tibet, and Bhutan. Great job! Little adventurers, we have finally arrived at the last letter in Z. For zebras! Zebra is a type of wild animal that belongs to the horse family. It is known for its distinctive black and white stripes which help it camouflage in its natural habitat. Zebras are native to Africa and are often found in grasslands and savannas. They are herbivores and primarily feed on grass and leaves. Zebras are social animals and live in herds for protection against predators. Thank you so much for joining us on this exciting alphabet adventure. If you had fun and learned something new, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel for more educational journeys. If you want to stay updated on our latest videos, make sure to click the bell icon and turn on notifications. Until next time, happy learning and goodbye!